Yo, what's going on guys? Robbie the Atomic Engineer here, back again with another video. We are back in the RBMK Little Tiles world, as you can see. And uh, today's video, we're going to be covering, we're going to be covering that in the background. So without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started. So last time that you guys saw this thing, I was building up the coolant reflection channels, and I think I had just, I think I had just started, just started on the, um, on the fuel channels and the RCPS, and the RCPS channels. The RCPS, all the RCPS channels are going to be the control rod channels. Control rod channels, control rod drive mechanism channels, those can also be removed, um, on unfortunately going to have to edit these because looking at uh looking at shit i don't remember what unit that was what plant that was but it was an rbmk reactor one of my friends on discord showed me a picture most of this is filled in there's like uh, it's kind of hard to explain most of this is filled in there's just like a little hole that there's like a metallic tape connected to like a spool inside of this thing that that's how it works it's a uh, might be as I think it's I don't remember what material that tape was but it's it's a tape it's a metallic tape that's how the control rods are driven also known as RCPS rods RCPS stands for reactor control protection systems they are also known as absorber rods they're the graphite tip rods so yeah pretty much this is this is what we got it right now um, we have control rods, control rod drive mechanisms, CRDMs. We have some of the graphite. We have the, some of the graphite channel stacks. Some of the, um, we have the graphite stack. And uh, to put into context, you notice there there's there's a gap between each and every single stack of graphite. That's because when this thing is in operation, the inside of the core between the gaps will be filled with helium nitrogen. It would be used to cool the graphite and to detect a channel rupture or channel leak. I think there was a couple other purposes for that. I can't entirely remember, but yeah, this is this is it. There is currently a problem with this map. And I'm going to go ahead and explain why I am not going to release this map to the public. I know it sucks. It's not getting released to the public. Maybe I can recreate it here on video. But there's a problem. As I put this thing back together, there's a problem with little tiles and the animations. When it goes on, it'll create a ghost block chunk. Maybe it'll do it here. It did not do it here, but it does do it when I'm putting the caps on when I'm putting the CRDMs back on it does just make chunks go poof off of the reactor I have to hold F3 and A in order to fix that right now I'm debating honestly if I want to continue this thing because as I place these channels it, 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 it does the ghost chunk thing a whole hell of a lot like literally almost every tenth channel that I place and it's going to take it's going to take a lot of time to get all those channels in here. But once I have the graphite in place, I can lay out the, the flange and then set up the set up the the reactor vessel. Then I'll set up the lower biological shield off of the upper biological shield. Hopefully I'll be able to do that and not have to build that part from scratch. If I do, no big deal cuz I'll I'll everything everything with the upper biological shield is perfect everything with the upper biological shield is in place the gaps are perfect the placements are perfect so all I'd really have to do is just make the blocks which were these I think yeah it's these which are basically the blocks that are used to create this piece which was then filled in with get which was then gap filled 
with a little chisel. But somebody, somebody, uh, let me actually go to my channel right now and find out who that was that asked that question real quick. I promised I would hold on a second here okay there we go totally unofficial totally unofficial totally unofficial asked how do all well, he he didn't entirely ask but he's trying to recreate something similar to this then he doesn't know how I made a perfect circle like this Perf making a perfect circle basically goes along the lines of World edit concepts. You have to get an exact corner to corner, bit by bit. So how I did this? This is shit. Um, I don't think I have an exact number for this, but mm, I I don't have an exact number for this. Recreating this would be hard. And it would definitely not be exact. This is here as the template. This is here as a template for the outer ring with the frame with the frame that I built around it to set that I guess to set the shape of the circle perfectly. So that if I needed to do this again, I can measure it out and do it again not touching this in a while not really doing any major activity on this build in a good set amount of months couple three months kind of forgot how I did that but this is just here as a placeholder in case I do need to build this thing again which hopefully I don't and I don't think I need to do because that's the main piece right there um, yeah, anyway, on to that example, so... Uh, shit. Uh, oh, that's a good size. God damn it, how the hell do I... There we go, period. So, box, we want a... Cylinder, I believe. That a cylinder we want us to be hollow. Then we're gonna crank that up. That this right here, I can do that with a scroll wheel actually. That is your thickness, and you want that to be facing Y. Your thickness, 60. That's the thickness in that on the X and on the X axis, X and Z axis, X or Z axis. How thick in tiles that you want that. In ter technical terms, it would be 16. So, we're going to, so you want to make a perfect exact circle, so, for example, placeholder block, you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, exact, you want this to be exact, go to the exact corner of that 10th block, oh, trace out, Go to the exact tenth on this one. It's going to look funky, but just trust it. Place it. That should be an entire perfect circle. Entire perfect circle. If you do it exact, exact. So say if you're going out by like 0.1 on each side, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. If you're going out for... Mm, if we're going out by point one like that, you have to do the exact same on this side. It has to be to the key, to the point. So as I just did right there, 10 exact to the corner, 10 exact to the corner. An exact 10 diagonal. Count it out 10, place another block. That is how, that is how you get a perfect circle. I don't know how else to show that example. If you want to stack this, shit, how would you stack? 
I'm curious. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious now. Hold on a minute. I am very curious. If I went one, two, three on top of this, and I wanted to complete this cylinder, boom, and go like this. Oh no, you could. You see what I mean? You just keep it exact like that, and boom. And that actually, you know what? That's exactly how I'm going to do my reactor vessel around this thing. And that's what makes me slightly upset about the fact that I did not... Hold on a minute here. Fuck. Can I control Z this out? Control Z. Oh yeah, no, you... There... Okay, so... From unofficial, I said there was no undo button. There is an undo button. It's control Z. Hold left, control and hit Z at the same time. A hold control and then hit Z. That's undo. So if you mess up on it, control Z. If you, have, if you do have an, a limited amount of undos, I believe the default is 10 undos. So keep it within that limit. Keep it within that limit. I cannot stress that enough. I've messed up on this thing bad, bad, bad. I tried to stack this on top of itself. But actually, no, no, no. It was creating the lip. It was creating this lip, which in turn involved coming out a few tiles. I, yeah, I just went out a few tiles. I went like diagonally, like one, two, three, so on and so forth pull that off and to do my reactor vessel you know what I'm gonna say screw it I'm going to do the example right here I'm gonna pull the risk bloom I can't verify how wide this is ooh that's lag boom that's actually kinda of perfect to be honest if I made that unhollow, it would not be hollow. So this is kind of how I would form my reactor vessel up. There, that would be the quote quote ten plate placeholder. Then I would just go down my blocks and just go down like how I how I showed you. So that's also how I would probably do my lower biological shield. It's kind of a place undo, place undo game, trial and error, trial and error. You will get it. So just take it bit by bit. Take it a few bits at a time if you have to. Um, control X, is that redo? That doesn't do anything. I'm honestly scared to find out what that just did. Uh, let's just put that back. I don't know what the redo button is. I don't want to go and find out. Is this, this mod scares the living shit out of me. So... <laughs> no, period. Let's make that unhollow for a sec. Oh my god. Oh dear lord. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's what is that? Oh no, it locks it. Oh, it lock. Okay, so if you want to, you can just lock it actually. Yeah, there you go. You can just lock that. Um. Okay, so yeah, so you can you can place hold one and then lock it like that, and then you can check and test your okay. And then it shows you in real blocks and then in then in chisels. Or, or it cho it shows you in blocks and then in bits and bits and blocks. That's actually very useful. Okay, so M M is to do that little fancy thing, but in terms of I recommend hollow. Let's 
see it shows you all those points. I don't know how to clear those points. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so it would it would it would do that. <laughs> Oh shit, what did I what did I do? What did What did I do? I don't want to know. <laughs> I do not want to know. Can I not get rid of it now? You know what? Screw it. Place it. I just place it and undo it. It doesn't look like it's gonna break anything, so. And that's kind of how that that's that's how you'd form stuff up. That's yeah. It looks like doing that. Cool, it undid it. Doing that with M, with the key M as in Mary. Looks like you can create kind of like a a blueprint component if you needed to. So that's cool. Interesting. Alright, well, um, that gives me motivation to continue this thing. So, <laughs> anyway, in terms in terms of other stuff besides this. I am now at 90 subscribers, so I am now going to be doing some special videos. I can't get an intro together because I can't get somebody to do one for me, so that's unfortunate, but but right now, I'm going to be doing a video or two, I'm going to be doing a video or more, so every single video, every single subscriber I get up until 100, I'm going to make a video or more every single subscriber I get so it's a T minus 10 countdown special so stay tuned guys I see what you guys want in terms of content looking in the search queries nuclear reactor nuclear reactor startup it is high 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 in the search query right now so this is a nuclear reactor build RBMK 1000 um, this is Leningrad Unit 4. Leningrad Unit 4's reactor, the Generation 1 RBMK reactor. So, I know what you guys want, and you guys will receive. So, there will be more reactor engineering videos coming up in the future. Stay tuned to that stuff. It's Robert the Atomic Engineer. Thank you guys for watching. Wish me luck on further progress. Stay happy and stay building and operate safely. Goodbye.